the coronavirus and the flu are very similar um, in terms of they both have fever. In fact, we're finding that 80% of people have a fever with coronavirus. And they also can develop a dry cough. About 60 to 70% of people have a dry cough. So this is very similar to flu. We're not seeing much congestion, actually, uh, with the coronavirus. It's only between 5 and 10%. Is there one certain symptom that determines a difference between the flu and coronavirus, or is it all just two very similar? They're very, very similar, and that's why it takes really a, a provider, a physician, asking questions about your history, um, doing tests on you uh, to determine the difference between the two. Dr. Barlow explains what constitutes a high-risk patient. And this is the same, again, between flu and coronavirus, the extremes of age. The other thing would be with coronavirus is we're finding that those with cardiovascular disease, so prior heart problems and also prior lung problems, and then also diabetes uh, can, play a, uh, can play a part in this also. One thing we wanted to do was also provide telemedicine and televisits. And so by doing this, we do this at afcurgentcare.com backslash telecare if you go and log on we then call you and we talk to you about your symptoms and determine if you need to stay home if we need to prescribe you medication or if we need to do further testing in one of our clinics